Look at this lovely dry sorrel fruit puree ready for a nice sorrel fruit cake. Look at the texture. Come over to my kitchen to learn how you can make this sorrel puree. First, we need a rich sorrel mixture. For this, you will need some wine and some rum. I don't have access to my favorite Red Label wine and J. Ray and Nevue, my favorite Jamaican wine and rum. So I am going to go ahead and use what I have. What I have, I'm going to use. So here I have dry sorrel that I'm going to use. We are going to start off with one cup of red wine and one cup of whiskey. So we are going to allow this to hot before we pour the sorrel. So what this is going to do, um, the heat is going to allow the flavor and the color of the sorrel to extract into the wine liquid. So I'm going to leave this to steam for about half an hour and leave it overnight. So here I go ahead also pour an extra cup of wine and an extra cup of whiskey. So total here I have two cups of wine, two cups of whiskey and two cups of dry sorrel. You see how that rich color start to extract? I just add everything and the color is popping already, but I will leave it overnight. I will be using this sorrel mixture to puree the sorrel and the fruits. I will be using it also to moisten the cake once it is done. So it is the next day and our sorrel mixture is ready. So we are going to go ahead and strain it. And you see how those sorrels still have this nice rich color. So I go ahead and pour a cup of water and strain it again. the second time and we still have a nice rich color so now we have our sorrel mixture all prepared so we are going to put it into a bottle and put it away until ready to use look how look how rich it is beautiful let's prepare our fruits and sorrel to puree here we have prunes, we have sorrel again, we have raisin, and here I have cherries, I have cloves, that's about 20 cloves and orange peel. We need about um, the peelings of three oranges. So we have two cups prune, two cups sorrel, two cups um, raisin. And here we have this nice bottle. We add everything in and pour about two thirds of whiskey with one third of wine and we leave it for a few days. And this is what it look like after a few days. But the longer you keep it, the better the flavor is. You can keep it for weeks, days, months, or years. So here I am about to puree the mixture. So we have everything mixed in this big bowl, all ready to puree for that cake. So we want to add just enough. We don't want to add too much. And we don't want to add too much liquid because we want to have a thick puree. 
add just enough liquid to get the blender moving. So here, this is my last batch. That's the texture. Look how beautiful it is. So this is total about six cups of fruits and the dry sorrel. And here we have our lovely looking bowl of sorrel and fruit fruit puree ready to make a delicious cake that cake is coming up in the next video stay tuned or check back later below i will leave a link or subscribe to my channel to receive notification whenever i upload thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you 